you've got a drum kit, you've got it all set up, and now what are you supposed to do? I remember very well what that feeling felt like. Uh, I remember being excited that I finally got my drum kit, and I set it up in my parents' living room, and then I sat down and I'm like, I don't know how to play, but I was so excited to have it set up, right? So I put on an album and I played to it. So this is going to be a lesson that's meant to be your first drum lesson, okay? This is going to teach you a very basic beat that's called the money beat. And the goal of this is that it go it gets you playing music as soon as possible, okay? That's my goal. I'm, I'm, I run an online drum school, and my goal with students is to get them up and playing music as quickly po as possible. And then let's address doubles with your kick drum and your technique and rudiment, all of those things. But first and foremost, let's get to the point of the reason we all started playing, and that is to play music. So this groove is called the money beat for a reason. It's used on a ton of songs. And if you learn this one groove, you're going to be able to play so many songs. I wrote down some that you can actually play. Uh, you can play the first song that I ever played, which was the sweater song off of the Weezer album. I literally just put it on my, my uh, stereo, like right beside my drum kit, cranked it up, and then just tried to play along with it. Uh, but uh, some other songs would be I Can't Feel My Face, uh, Without Me by Eminem. Let's see, Billie Jean by Michael Jackson, Flashlight. If you're into the old school funk by Parliament. We got Inner Sandman by Metallica. There's portions of this, uh, portions of that song use this beat. Thunderstruck by ACDC. One Way or Another by Blondie. Help by the Beatles. Oops, I did it again by Britney Spears if you're into that sort of thing. But anyway, so it's used on a ton of recordings. You get my point, right? And if you learn it, you can also use it to play on other uh, songs that also modify this beat. So let's get to this. I'm, we're not going to drag this thing out. Let's get to this. Actually, what is this beat? We're going to start with the hi-hat. And on the hi-hat, we're going to be playing eighth notes. Now, the first thing we need to understand is if we're in a bar of four, four time, that means we have four quarter notes, right? And the quarter note gets the beat. So it's going to go one, two, three, four. That is four, four time. So we just need to be able to count to four. Eighth notes, there's four quarter notes per measure of four, four time. There's eight eighth notes in a measure of four, four time. So for every quarter note, there's two eighth notes. And the way we count those is one and two and three and four and. The quarter notes would be on my snap. One and, two and, three and four and. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play that rhythm on the hi-hat, okay? So let's put a click with this. One, and, two, and, three, and on the hi-hat. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, right? It's simple so far. Now, here's the great thing about this beat. All of the other notes line up with the hi-hat. That's the great thing. All right, so the kick drum, let's talk about what it's going to be doing. It's going to be playing on one and three. So if the count's here, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then if we take this and we add the hi-hat, by the way, if you want the sheet music for this lesson, if you want all these parts broken apart and then put back together so you can visually see it, sometimes that helps me, uh, with the counts also written down above all of these notes, there's a, a download link for that uh, in, the, in the video description as well. I'm going to pin a comment to this video too, so please go download that sheet music uh, and, and go ahead and get that. I, I want you to be as successful with this. All right, so we're going to play eighth notes here and then we're going to add one and three on the kick drum. Three and four and one and two and add the kick drum now. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now, don't worry about adding a metronome or a click just yet because when we're first learning this, we kind of want to be fluid. In other words, we want to be like one and two and three three and four. I want to be able to kind of stumble through that and then as we smooth it out, then we can add a metronome later. Now, once we have that, then we have the snare drum. We have the back beat, all right? And so the back beat is going to be on two and four. So if we have our count again, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. 
Let's add the kick with that. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And last, let's add the hi hat. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now, if you find yourself kind of stumbling through that and adding one of the limbs holds you up, there's a saying that I use when in doubt, take it out. Okay? So if the kick drum is messing you up, Take it out for a second and then add it back in once you get comfortable. What you need to do is eliminate one of the limbs. So we have three things happening, right hand, left hand, kick right here, okay? So eliminate one of those and make it just two things. And if that's still too complicated, eliminate them and make it just one thing, okay? The point is play that game of elimination until you can play it and then slowly add it. So if I were to speed that up just a little bit and play it with a click at 60 BPM, two and three and four and one and 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 two and three and four and we can speed that up even more let's go up to about 100 bpm and let you hear what that sounds like two three And there you've got it. You've got your first drum beat. Now you can actually go, and I would recommend, once you learn it, immediately turn on two or three of those songs that I mentioned and start playing along to them. Start trying to feel how that sits in the music, all right? It's used so much. And so I just wanted to take a second and give you like your first drum lesson if you've just sat down at the drums, because I very much remember what that feels like. And you sit down and you're like, I don't know what, quite what to do. Now don't start here, don't stop here. Go on and continue to learn better technique, continue to learn the, all of these things in the drumming um, uh, vocabulary, but start with this and then learn to play it to music and then move on. Remember, we're always looking to play this stuff to music, all right? If you are just starting out on the drums, Welcome to the drum family. I couldn't be more excited to be like the person that helps to welcome you. If you need some lessons, you can always visit my website, stevensdrumshed.com, and we've got the Drum Better Daily membership program there. And all that is is a very organized and methodical way to work you through a set of lessons. It's personalized. You get interaction from me as much as you want. There's a, one, there's a, a great community of drum warriors on there that we've got this motto, and like we are to the max with seeing daily progress, being focused, and determined to be the best players that we can be. So if you're into that, the link is below as well, the link for the sheet music. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. I, I put out a ton of free content every week, so you're missing out if you don't. If this has helped you, hit that thumbs up button, share it with somebody that you think it may help, and leave me a comment, please. I love hearing from you guys. I read them all, and I respond to as many as I can. But no matter what you do, I'll see you here in the next video.